guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy November! Oh my goodness, October was an amazing month, a life-changing month, and I am just really excited to get into the holiday season. Let's talk about my October favorites, shall we? Let's start with makeup. So I have a couple of makeup products that I'm in love with. These are some of my favorite shades, but it's not my favorite shade. I don't know what happened to my favorite shade, but these are the Maybelline Matte Lipsticks. I have various shades. The ones that I have right here, I have Nude Nuance. It's just like this really nice purpley undertone. One of my favorites is Touch of Spice. These are super pigmented. They last for a very long period of time. I am gonna do a top 10 or top 12 fall lipsticks for you guys. I just need to find Nude Nuance, but that is one you have to get. Nude Nuance is perfect. I'm bummed that I don't know where it's at. This one's a great red. This is Rich Ruby. Beautiful, beautiful red shade. If you're looking for a drugstore red, get this one. And then Divine Wine, which is a beautiful, beautiful burgundy. I love it. Moving on to eyeliner. So I have two favorite eyeliners, one high-end, one drugstore, one I purchased, one I got for free, and they are both absolutely amazing. Holy grail items, I must say. Now, the high-end, I got this with my Sephora VIB Rouge birthday gift. I've never tried NARS before, and now I have to get this liner. It's the NARS Larger Than Life Longwear Eyeliner in Via Venito, and it is beautiful. It's just a perfect black. I use it for my waterline. It stays put, doesn't smudge. I mean, I like that they give you like a really nice sized liner. I mean, that's a really good size liner. So good job, Sephora. Now moving on to the affordable, which is literally $2.99. Absolutely amazing. Holy grail item. And it is the Essence Eyeliner Pen. Essence, bravo. You are slowly becoming one of my favorite, favorite brands. This pen stays put. It's what I'm wearing on my eyes right now. Stays put, does not transfer. The problem with my lids, I have really, really oily lids. It's the only part of my body that's oily. Maybe like halfway through the day, we'll have like that line on my lid. It's terrible. This does not transfer. It doesn't budge. I've slept with this on, woke up, and it was still in place. I mean, that's how good this liner is. I love it. Let me know. Do you guys want me to try more things from Essence? Maybe I'll do just a huge haul and try everything out and tell you guys what I think about the brand. But so far, I'm in love with everything that I've tried. Let's move on to face products, shall we? To start with, I use the Josie Marin 100% Pure Argan Oil. And I use the sample size. It's like a deluxe sample. You can get it at Sephora for $5. $5. As you can see, I've had this for maybe a month. Yeah, about a month. And I've gone about maybe a quarter of the way down. I'm not sure what the actual full size costs. I'll leave it right here. But this is 0.5 fluid ounce and it is so nice. Why spend $40 on the big size when you can use this and it just gives you that beautiful glow right underneath your foundation. It's hydrating. This is my moisturizer. I love you, Josie Marin. I love you. Let's talk about my favorite primer, y'all. This is the Too Faced Hangover Replenishing Face Primer. Dry Skin Girls, you need this in your life. First of all, can we talk about the scent? It smells like coconut. It really does extend the duration of my makeup. It's so hydrating. It just gives you that gorgeous, gorgeous glow underneath. And it's a pump. When I saw that it had a pump, I got really excited. I like squealed because I was like, yay, I'm not gonna overuse product because it has a little pump. So good. So foundation. I am in love with this foundation. It is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick Foundation and I'm in the shade 127 equals Y335. Now I have had the regular HD foundation that they had before they updated the formula or whatever they did to it. And I really loved it. That was one of my favorite foundations. So I was debating whether or not to get the newer liquid foundation or to get the stick. With the stick, I was like, oh, is that really gonna work with dry skin? Yes, it does. What I like to do is I'll smear it all over the skin and then I'll take a beauty blender or I will take one of my Sephora mineral brushes and I will just buff that in. You can wear this lightweight, like today, I'm wearing it more so that it looks more like skin. You can increase it to medium coverage. I don't know if you can get it to full coverage, but you can definitely get it to medium coverage. And I just, I love this. And my last favorite makeup product for the month of October is this concealer right here. Here. It is the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Complete Coverage Serum Concealer. I have it in the shade medium. It's super hydrating. This entire month, because I'm out in the sun, I wanted my skin to be nourished, but I didn't want it to melt away, and this does the trick. It is so creamy. I love that it's a doe foot applicator, but it's flat. I don't know if you can see that, but it's flat on both sides. Super creamy, super pigmented. 
This is in the shade medium. Y'all, how light is the other one? So I guess if this is medium, girls with really, really light skin, get the light shade. I bet that will look beautiful on you. Moving on to favorite clothing items. So we're gonna start with this right here. This is from Forever 21. I call it my Moses jacket because it literally looks like Moses. It's so comfy. If you got a little bit of a food belly, it covers it up. It just feels like you're wrapping yourself in a blanket. It goes with so many different things. It's very fashion forward. I don't have anything bad to say about it. And my last clothing item is one that you guys saw in my previous video, or one of my previous videos. It was the Get Ready With Me Fall tutorial. I'll leave it right here. But it is this romper. It's from Kohl's. It's the Lauren Conrad Runaway line. Oh my gosh, I love it. Can we talk about those little cute little owls that are all over? And there's so many different owls. There's owls with big eyes. There's like slender, like sexy owls. And then there's tubby little narrow owls. The shorts are short. But then you have the sheer material that extends the length. It's so breathable. I love the sheer arms. It's gorgeous. It's perfect. It slims you out. I love it. Moving on to a random favorite. My brother Caleb, he had told me that he had a package for me. And one thing that Caleb and I share a connection with is we love Phantom of the Opera. I took him to see Phantom of the Opera for the first time and it was such an amazing experience. I loved it. But I opened the mail today and he had made me a Phantom box. How amazing is this? How amazing is this? The mask, the rose, and then look at the detail work. Look at that. I love this so much. I don't know what I'm gonna keep in this. I'm gonna treasure this for the rest of my life. And I'm gonna make sure that no one can get near it so that it doesn't break. I'm just, I'm blown away. So moving on to TV shows. I only have one favorite TV show, but it's Friends. We watched it from the beginning to the end because I've never seen Friends in its entirety. We watched the last episode on our engagement night. It broke my heart because I was like, wow, we've come full circle with this. It's so bittersweet. Now I can watch any episode without, you know, ruining anything for myself. But at the same time, it's just like having friendship end. What's your favorite episode? Let me know in the comments. Probably my favorite episode of all time. There's so many, but one of my favorites is the one where Monica has the turkey on her head. That's been one that I've loved since I was little, and it's definitely one of the ones that I love now. Moving on to favorite YouTuber of the month. So my favorite YouTuber of the month has to go to my friend Cassandra. First off, she is gorgeous. The thing about her, she's not just stunning on the outside, she's beautiful within. Her personality is amazing. I love her videos. If you like my channel, you will love love her channel. She was actually in the collaboration that I just recently did, which only right here, but she was a part of that. She was Regina. We're gonna have a girls day soon, which I'm super excited about. She's just one of those girls where you can instantly click with and you're like, I can be best friends with you. You've got to check her out. So I'm gonna leave her link right here if I can. If not, I'm gonna leave her link down in the description box, but check her out. Her name's Cassandra. You're not gonna regret it. On to the last topic, my top three favorite moments of October. Number one, spending my birthday with Josh. And actually that entire birthday weekend was amazing. I was a mermaid. My family came to go see me at SeaWorld as Capri. Then we went out to dinner with all of them, which was so much fun. Then Josh and I, as you saw in our vlog, which I'll leave right here, Josh and I were able to go to the Matthew West slash Francesca Battistelli concert and we saw Maze Runner and we just had a great time. Number two would have to be spending the day in Julian with Josh. As you saw in my most recent video, my fashion video, Josh and I went all over Julian and we we recorded a lookbook and it was just so much fun to see him in his element getting really into it It was a rainy day. It was just wonderful I absolutely loved spending that time with Josh and the final moment which is by far my favorite life-changing moment is when Josh proposed to me. Oh man, well let me just cover that up right there. Can we talk about this ring? Holy cow, I'm in love. He did such a good job. I love this. If you have not seen that video, I'm definitely gonna leave the link right here. He proposed at SeaWorld at work because fun fact, we met at SeaWorld. I'm not gonna give you any more details. You're just gonna have to wait for our story video where we're gonna tell you exactly how we met and our entire life journey together. I get to spend the rest of my life with my best friend and I'm so excited to do so. That is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed let me know what was your favorite moment in the month of October like what made you the happiest during this month if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you haven't done so already please do subscribe have a wonderful week and I will see you in the next video take care